is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today i am super excited we are in the new 2021 bmw 4 series coupe courtesy of apple bmw in york pa they just got two of these things in plus an m5 plus an m2 so for more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And of course, I'm excited to be in this one today because it has been completely redesigned for the 2021 model year. A wider track, lower center of gravity, 50-50 weight distribution. This is the new Bavarian masterpiece. So what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so as you can imagine, there are a few different configurations available for the new 4 Series Coupe. First one being the 430i, starting at $45,600. Then there is the 430i X-Drive, starting at $47,600. And lastly, the one we have today being the M440i X-Drive, starting at $58,500. And so, as you can imagine with those different trim levels, there are actually two different engine configurations available for this one. First one belonging to the 430i. 30i trim levels being a two liter twin power turbocharged inline four cylinder. This one puts out 255 horsepower at 5,000 RPM, 295 pound feet of torque, available from the power band of 1,500 to 4,400 RPM, power sent to rear wheels or all wheels. Of course, the all wheel drive being the X drive trim levels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters, giving you a zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 5.5 seconds for the rear wheel drive, according to BMW, 5.3 seconds for the all-wheel drive and of course miles per gallon has not quite yet been tested for that one but then there is the other engine configuration of course belonging to the m440i that we have today this one is powered by a three liter twin power turbocharged inline six cylinder you gotta love the inline six with a 48 watt mild hybrid system as well which is said to increase performance by up to 11 horsepower so that is pretty cool that bmw put that on this one as well but overall horsepower numbers come in at 382 horsepower 5800 rpm Torque comes in at 369 pound-feet of torque, available from the power band of 1,800 to 5,000 RPM, sent to all four wheels through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters, which, by the way, you guys know, we will be testing out it a little bit here. But overall, zero to 60 time, BMW puts it at 4.3 seconds. Again, we'll be testing that out in a second. And once again, MPG numbers have not yet been officially released for this one. But before we do any kind of paddle shifter test or acceleration test or anything like that, I did want to mention there are some drive modes, of course, of available for the 4 Series Coupe. They will include Eco Pro Comfort Sport and Sport Plus, adjusting plenty of different things like the shift points, the throttle response, the steering sensitivity, and actually the suspension settings as well, if you get the adaptive damping suspension, that is. That is an option for the 4 Series Coupe. And of course, that will also adjust the gauge setup ever so slightly as well, the look to the gauges, I should say. But now having mentioned all of that, what do you guys say? I wanna test out the paddle shifters here first. I've never been disappointed with BMW, so I pretty much already knew the answer, I feel like, but we're gonna do it for the sake of this video. Let's go ahead and find a straightaway, and I'm gonna put the shifter all the way to the back and to the left. That is actually gonna give me full manual shifting. So therefore, let's go ahead and test out the paddle shifters and see how quickly they react for us here. Still in first gear, it is not shifting, and here we go. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. This thing is freaking quick, man, dang. Wow, these paddle shifters are lightning quick. Who would have thought it in a BMW? Oh my gosh, I am surprised. No, paddle shifters are like supercar quick. Honestly, they are well more than expected and they, it never surprises me with BMW though. They absolutely kill it. But let me put it back into full automatic mode here and we got a car behind us, but here we go. Holy cow. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Dang, that acceleration is absolutely breathtaking in the M440i. It's not gonna be quite as good with the other engine configuration, although it's still gonna be well more than enough to merge you onto a highway, of course, but oh, oh my gosh, it makes you feel absolutely wonderful. This is why I love cars. That acceleration was, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna keep saying, oh my gosh, because that was freaking wonderful. <laughs> Anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so, of course, you will find ventilated four-wheel disc brakes in the front and the rear, actually. M Sport brakes with blue calipers coming on the M440i that we have here today. And since we're coming up to a stop sign, give me like three, 
two, one. We're gonna come to a stop here. Yeah, that works. Absolutely no issues with the braking feel whatsoever. Definitely feels nice in this one. But continuing on, touching on suspension and handling on this one. Up front, you will find a double pivot type front suspension with spring struts and an anti-roll bar. In the back, five link rear suspension with cast aluminum upper transverse arms, twin tube gas pressurized shock absorbers as well. M Sport suspension coming with the M440i. It's going to be a retuned version, of course, of the 430i. So a little stiffer suspension there, a little better handling on the back roads, I guess you could say. As far as ride quality goes, it's been honestly more than I expected. Sometimes with sportier cars like the 4 Series Coupe, you don't always think they're going to ride as nicely. But this is a BMW. You can't really expect anything less. It does have really the best of both worlds in this thing. It rides super smooth, soaking up PA's road perfections definitely quite nicely the steering feel something bmw always nails with their vehicles especially when you put it in that sport driving mode i just immediately downshifted for me i gotta love that oh my gosh the exhaust note is also different in sport driving mode. i don't think i mentioned that to you guys you get a little bit of poppage with it in sport driving mode gotta love it the steering feel is noticeably heavier as well so you are going to have a much better feel to the steering feel when you're in sport driving mode better helps you point you in the direction that you want to go so you got to love that as well touching on cabin noise when you put it in that sport driving mode you can hear that exhaust i'll tell you that much so i'm gonna go ahead and take it out so i'm not competing with that exhaust though but cabin noise is perfect i was just driving at highway speeds around 60 miles per hour there was no wind noise whatsoever coming into the cabin. Again, you hear a little bit of that exhaust note with the sport driving mode, but other than that, cabin noise is 100% on point as well. That touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. Sometimes with coupes, you don't always get that, but quite honestly, with the 4 Series coupe, you're good. No issues with visibility whatsoever. Rain sensing windshield wipers actually do come standard on every single trim level of the 4 Series coupe, meaning when the car starts to detect any kind of mist even or rainfall, it is gonna automatically turn on this windshield wipers. Kind of like automatic headlights, it's just one less thing you gotta worry about there. And a head-up display is going to be optional for this one. And so I do actually have that option today. I am looking at my speed as well as the speed limit on my windshield right now. Just one less thing to better help you keep your eyes on the road. It's also actually going to give you some safety features, navigation information up there as well. But that about rounds up this amazing performance section of this review. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2021 BMW 4 Series Coupe. All right, so here she is, you guys, the beautiful new 2021 BMW 4 Series Coupe. Gotta love it, completely redesigned for 2021. Let's go ahead and start at the most controversial part of this one, the front grill. And I do wanna know exactly what you guys think of this one, so be sure to put it in the comments section below. But of course, the front grill previously, being a horizontal design, is now vertical and quite large, of course. So what do you guys think of that one? Of course, it is that active kidney front grill you guys could probably see towards the top. Active meaning the shutters will open and close dependent upon the engine cooling needed, so that's always very functional. You will actually get chrome accents surrounding that front grille if you were to go with the 430i bronze or black accents are available as well for the m440i and so we do have the black accents up there today down in the corners to the sides there you guys can probably see you do have some air curtains directing air around the wheel and tire combination for a little better aerodynamics that's always nice and when it comes to those headlights they are led headlights with cornering lights meaning when you're going around a bend at night those headlights will swivel based on your steering angle better help illuminating what is around that bend so it's going to be there for you as well led day time running lights of course they do come with the automatic feature as well meaning when it starts to get dark and light headlights will turn on automatically for you there it's all pretty basic stuff i guess at this point but there's an optional lighting configuration for the 4 series coupe being the icon adaptive led headlights with laser light technology and so that is the very brightest lighting allowed by law right now so if you wanted super illumination at night it is available for you. And I absolutely love the hood creases around this BMW logo in the front here as well. BMW just did such a nice design, in my opinion, to the front of this. I know it's controversial, but I absolutely love the look of this one. You guys got to agree with me on this. It might be a little bit polarizing, but I absolutely love it. Now, let's go ahead and make our way to the side of this one now. And so now, since we are around the side, gloss black window surrounds do come standard on the 4 Series Coupe. 
body colored power adjustable side mirrors coming standard. You will get bronze mirror caps actually if you were to go with the M440i or they can be available in black of course like you're seeing right now. And those side mirrors are heated with LED integrated turn signals then as well. Then taking a look down at the wheel setup, 18 inch V-spoke Orbit gray alloy wheels with all season run flats coming with the 430i. 18 inch double five spoke alloys coming with the M440i and so it is going to be that same size wheel setup just a slightly different design between the two trim levels there and again those coming with run flat tires surrounding the wheels as well but now let's go ahead and make our way to the back of this one now but so now since we are around back of course you do have that gloss black shark fin antenna up top you do get a small lip spoiler if you were to go with the M440i only the 430i is not going to give you any spoiler back there so we did want to mention that LED taillights of course coming standard across the board and you of course will find that badging back there as well the M badging specifically if you were to go with the M440i and you do have the X drive logo on the other side there taking a look down a little bit you will find a gloss black rear diffuser it is going to be gloss black no matter what color exterior that you get on this one so if you wanted it to kind of mesh in with the rest of the vehicle go with the black exterior like we have here today but I do like the look back there and of course to the sides even the exhaust setup is going to differ slightly between those two trim levels dual exhaust outlets with circular chrome tips for the 430i dual exhaust outlets with bronze or black trapezoidal exhaust tips if you were to go with the m430i so do you believe you guys know what we have to do next and again like I had said previously, the exhaust note is going to differ. So I'm just going to throw it in sport driving mode here and enjoy the sound here. You guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. you guys and so now since we are around back of the four series coupe here to go ahead and open that trunk there is a button on the key fob that is one way there's also a button on the trunk itself and yet another way is going to be on the driver's side door i did want to also mention there is a hands-free trunk if you were to go with the m440i that we have here today so that is yet another way you can go ahead and open the back up there but once opened up cargo capacity comes in at 12 cubic feet even if that was not enough space, there actually are levers located in the trunk. Simply pull on them. They will fold down those rear seats. Of course, giving you a ton of extra space there if you needed it. Another kind of interesting feature I found in the trunk itself, you find a lot of features back there that you typically would find in SUVs, but almost never coupes, like grocery bag hooks. I found a couple grocery bag hooks in the 4 Series Coupe. That's pretty cool. Also, tie-down anchors. You almost never see that in coupes either. Also, you had some storage on the sides of that trunk trunk there with a little bit of netting as well so definitely a very functional trunk for the 4 series I will say that kind of surprised me there quite honestly but then making our way to the rear legroom that comes in at 34.5 inches so for reference I mean even six feet tall this is how much space I had back there and of course those rear passengers are spoiled a little bit as well because they will have a rear center armrest with cup holders they also get rear ventilation another feature you typically will never find in coupes because they are smaller vehicles so you you don't always need them but of course in a luxury vehicle like a bmw 4 series coupe you got rear ventilation for those rear passengers so that's pretty cool also phone charging ports back there and i was also surprised to find they also have their own climate control settings back there so they can set their own temperature back there as well and actually 34.5 inches going back to that it's actually a decent amount for rear legroom when it comes to a two-door so we'll say that so i would imagine you can actually play around with these front seats a little bit to actually fit passengers more comfortably in those rear seats if you wanted to do that but then making our way to the front seats sense tech upholstery is going to come standard on all trim levels however there are optional setups but as far as the standard setup goes 10-way power adjustable front seats come standard two-way power side bolsters i love that in bmw it definitely helps hold you in place around the turns a little better i love that you can adjust that memory settings for up to two different drivers can be found on the driver's side door as well that's always nice and four-way power lumbar also coming standard but having said that there are optional setups for the seating as well giving you full leather seating with plenty of different
different color options available as well, like this dark red color that we have here today. I absolutely love this look. In the past, BMW has used a brighter red, and I actually do like the darker red in this one. It's much more luxury, like I guess you could say, so I like that. Heated front seats are actually gonna be optional in this one. Ventilated front seats also optional, and with all those seating adjustments, even with the standard configuration, extremely comfortable seats this is most definitely a vehicle you can go on long road trips with just because the seats are so ridiculously comfortable part of what contributes to that is the lumbar support and the power side bolsters in my personal opinion but so i do like the seats but then taking a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping heated steering wheel is available but perhaps the first thing i always noticed in bmws is the 10 and 2 grips our mammoth i absolutely love it it fits your hands so freaking nicely and really for a sports car like the m440i these 10 to 2 grips are necessary so i absolutely love that they are so beastly i love that bmw always does that and you do have the m logo at the bottom portion of that steering wheel and if you did get the heated steering wheel option that is going to be located just above that you guys could probably see that there as well then take a look at the gauge cluster it is an 8.8 .8 inch gauge cluster that is the standard setup and then there is the 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster that is optional that we have today so it definitely looks good you got the speed information on your left as well as the digital speedometer you got your tachometer on your right how many miles you have left until you hit empty there's your outside temperature what driving mode you're in of course and those gauges are pretty customizable as well and they do adjust once again dependent upon the drive mode that you actually put this thing in so that's going to be there for you they are pretty nice up there but then taking a look at overall interior quality a power glass moonroof does come standard on every single trim level you got to love that universal garage door opener for up to three different garage doors can be found just underneath of that frameless rear view mirror that's another cool little feature the frameless part of it a lot of times it'll come with that black plastic surrounding the rear view mirror but the frameless is much more upscale looks a lot better in my opinion so do you have the garage door openers anthracite headliner essentially what that is is just a softer version of what you'll typically find so it's a very soft headliner i like that as well ambient lighting is going to be optional on this one it's definitely an option i would recommend because bmw does it very well in their vehicles and there's a ton of different colors you can pick as well it is adjustable there's bronze orange white blue green lilac the colors continue which can all be adjusted up on the tech display which i'll get to in a second here so definitely a cool ambient lighting setup to this one just in front of the shifter you actually have a wireless phone charger up there as well there is a usb charging port dual cup holders surrounding the shifter there is a very nice kind of hard finish it really doesn't feel like plastic it almost feels like a very solid aluminum finish surrounding the shifter which is a very high-end feel to it so absolutely love that it's not like a gloss black plastic that's gonna smudge with your fingerprints or anything like that so love the very high-end finish surrounding the shifter there behind the shifter of course you have a center armrest with a good bit of storage within that another phone charging port in there too so Overall, when BMW does interior quality, they always absolutely nail it. So absolutely love it. It's all the fine details like the stitching found on the top portion of the doors there. There's also a soft leather finish with gray stitching just where you would rest your knee for the driver and passenger close to the center console here. So gotta love the little things that BMW thinks of just like that. But what I'm getting at is overall interior quality is absolutely amazing. So no issues there for me. Touching on the tech display now, like I was saying, 8.8 inch color touchscreen display does come standard that's going to match with the standard 8.8 inch gauge cluster however then there is that optional setup you actually can get a 10 and a quarter inch screen available which we do of course have today and to control what is on either of those screens there's a ton of different options it is touchscreen like i was saying there's also a circular dial and buttons just to the right of the shifter that's another way there is also gesture control available i love that in bmws whenever you want to turn the radio up for instance you just circle your finger in a clockwise like motion and it turns up the radio for you of course vice versa but there's tons of different gestures that you can use so really you don't have to take your eyes off the road to adjust anything on that display screen and of course there is voice activated controls for that as well so quite a few different ways you can adjust what is on there bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard android auto apple carplay actually as well factory navigation coming standard up there too you can check out your weather information up there driving statistics and 
your radio information as expected. So when it comes to the sound system, we're gonna test that out here. 10 speakers, 205 watts is the standard setup. However, you do have an optional 16 speaker Harman Kardon sound system that is available with 464 watts. And you guys know, of course, we do have that sound system here today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing this morning, and let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> That sound system was amazing. That was fun. Oh, Harman Kardon, well done, well done. That was a cool sound system, I loved that. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display is of course, when you do put the 4 Series Coupe in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board for every single trim level. In addition to that, there is a 360 degree monitor with a 3D view available with the parking assistance package. I guess for $700, it comes with other stuff as well, but that is gonna give you that bird's eye view, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so front side, side curtain airbags do come standard, but also driver and passenger knee airbags up front as well. In the back, you're gonna actually have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children if you wanted to put rear car seats back there. Automatic high beams do come standard as well. There is frontal collision warning with automatic city collision mitigation and braking. Blind spot monitoring system coming standard as well. There is speed limit recognition technology, of course. And back to that parking assistance package with a 3D monitor, it goes for $700. That also gives you parking assistance plus, which essentially is where the 4 Series Coupe parks itself. That's always nice. And front and rear parking sensors if you wanted to do your own parking as well. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts, this is indeed a driver's car. It's absolutely amazing wonderful car to drive it will immediately put a smile on your face when you hit the gas the handling is wonderful the steering feel is great especially with these 10 and 2 grips ambient lighting is definitely a must-have option in this one as well it's going to look absolutely amazing at night and there's so many different color options you can go with as far as the different trim levels go if you're spending this much money on a bmw just go with the m440i because that extra power is 100 worth it in my personal opinion it's breathtaking quite honestly as far as constructive criticism the only constructive criticism I really have is BMW does tend to put a lot of different options that don't always come standard on their vehicles. So the price can tend to climb up quite high if you wanted to keep tacking on those extra options. But other than that, if you got the money for it, Dang, this car is fun. The interior quality is on point. The driving dynamics are absolutely amazing. I love the new look of that front grille in the front, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Be sure to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you wanna see what's coming next on the channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know when I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay going, my friends.